Fomo ita concentration technique for identification of intestinal helmets from stool sample. The principle. This is based on specific gravity. The specific gravity of stool parasites is higher than that of water, and so the parasites end up settling at the bottom of the suspension after centrifugation as sediment. Let's look at some advantages of this technique. First of all, the main aim of this technique is to remove debris. Two, it increases the chance of finding a parasite, that is if they are present in low numbers. TV, the technique is inexpensive, and so even in resource limited settings, it can be performed or carried out. Four, the morphology of the parasite are usually retained for easy identification. When you think of the morphology, you can mention the X, the larvae, or the cysts of protozoans. The procedure. After wearing the appropriate PPE, put on the film hood. The film hood is a ventilated enclosure that keeps gases, vapors, films, and even some volatile radioactive compounds away from the user's face and prevent them from escaping into the rest of the laboratory. It filters the air to prevent the inhalation of toxic particles that can lodge in the lungs and cause serious health implications. We are using the film hood because we will be working with Daita Ita, petrol, and formalin. The next step is to disinfect the film hood using 70% ethanol. And then you arrange all the materials that are needed. The materials needed include the stool sample, 10% formalin, 15 ml falcon tube, and the lice. You add 10% formalin to the stool sample and you emulsify it using the applicator stick. The formalin here preserves the stool and parasites that may be present in it. Note that the stool here came already in formalin. So we only top up with some more formalin. You pour some of the emulsified stool sample into the sieve and sieve it by means of plastic funnel after overlaying about three to four layers of gauze in the sieve. The remaining stool sample it can be kept for later examination. Add more formalin until the filtrate reaches the 7 mil mark on the 15 mil falcon tube. Add 3 mil of da ita ita or petrol. In fact, in this case, we are using petrol to make a total of 10 mil. The function of the petrol is to dissolve any fat that may be present in the stew to release the parasite. Also, the fecal debris will be extracted into the ether or the petrol phase of this suspension. You cap the falcon tube tightly. You shake it well for about 30 seconds. Then you centrifuge at 2500 RPM for 2 minutes. We are going to see four layers. The layer of ether or petrol, the layer of debris, the layer of formalin, and last, the layer of sediment. You break through the debris layer, you pour the first three layers out. After which you examine under the microscope. You add few drops of 10% formalin and resuspend the sediment using pasture pipette. Mm -hmm. 
add a drop or two to your microscope slide. You cover a little bit. And examine under the microscope for intestinal parasite identification using the by 10 objective lens of the microscope. Looking out for cysts of protozoans, eggs and larvae of helminths. Now you call your findings on a sheet of paper. Then you enter your results on the computer.